Okay, so here we are. We are approaching the end of this journey here. We have got a lot of the panels primed fully, and I kind of got caught out. I got um, I was using this light gray paint here, and uh, I ran out of it, so I had to switch to this. Uh, I had to buy some more of this dark gray. Thankfully, I had some on hand, but it wasn't enough to continue, so that's why some of the panels are um, different colors of primer. So it really shouldn't matter because the paint I'm using here, it's uh, its a custom pearl. So this is a uh, sort of, it's not going to show up on camera that well, but it is sort of a phase sh or color shift, uh, and it's really pigmented. Um, I mixed this myself. It's a uh, color shift between, I think it's silver and like a lavender kind of purple. It's this exact spoon I sprayed as a uh, test piece. So it's kind of like, it should it's sort of showing up. I've got most of the panels primed. The only one I'm not done with yet. Well, actually there's a couple. So I've got the hard drive cages. This piece, which is for the snaps that hold the top panel on. And then the part I'm really not looking forward to, because if I screw it up, I'm gonna have to deal with runs, is, yeah, the motherboard tray. It's got all these cavities and crevices. And if I have a run, it's not gonna be easy to remove it. So I'm hoping this doesn't go awful. Thankfully, most of the complex parts are underneath the motherboard, or are gonna be underneath the, the motherboard when it's in the case. But it's just gonna be, I don't, I want the quality to be good, even where you don't see it. So I gotta, I gotta take my time with this, and I gotta be very careful. Thankfully, I built up quite a bit of experience with the materials and tools that I've been using. So um, hopefully it's not a problem, but we'll see. We've got, like I said, some difference in, in the uh, primer coat between some panels. Thankfully, it shouldn't matter too much because I'm either using a deep black, that's a, a pearl black, or a that, that purple. So it shouldn't matter because I actually used, I did two test runs with a, a black primer and a white primer and they both came out looking like this. So I'm not worried about it. I guess now all we have to do is stop putting this off. I guess just spray it. So I guess we'll do a time lapse for that. So let's go. All right, so we're gonna let it cure for about, uh, well, 15 minutes, and then we will flip it over and start painting the other side. So I'll be back when we're ready for that. For that. All right, let's flip it over. Here we go, time lapse number two.
Okay, while we let the motherboard tray uh, dry from the paint laid on it, well, actually, it's not paint, it's primer. But while we let that happen, I'm gonna clean this airbrush because we're done for today, I think. Um, it's getting late, so we'll have to resume this recording tomorrow. So, in order to do that, what I, what I have to do is, even though I flushed the entire the entire airbrush out. I still like to fully disassemble at the end of the day when I'm done using. Um, this is the only one I've used today. So, uh, I take the needle out. I don't completely strip the airbrush down completely, but I get the main components. It's basically like a field strip for a firearm. I don't completely disassemble because our ultrasonic cleaner here will do most of the work for us, whether we... I mean, even if we were to, uh, I mean, I would recommend you at least strip it down to uh, a couple components, but you don't really need to fully disassemble unless you have just gunk everywhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the tray out of our ultrasonic cleaner. I'm going to place it right here. I'm going to put these components in. Just take the trigger out. Take needle protector, nozzle protector, and I don't normally take the nozzle out because these ultrasonic cleaners can normally get most of the crap out of there easily. Okay, so I take the, uh, I forget what this part's even called. I just strip it down to there and then we uh, place the rest in there and fully submerge. I should probably change that water out. We'll run once like this for 10 minutes. And then we will put fresh, uh, this is just homemade airbrush cleaner. It's, uh, so let this run for 10 minutes and then we'll come back, change the water out and we'll run it again. I always do two runs per airbrush and try to get them completely clean. So yeah, we'll be back. Okay, so we're on to the next day. Um, I've got my uh, purple mixed. It's a, uh, it's, I think it's 16 ounces. Yep, 16 ounces. We're about to paint everything purple, except for the parts that are well, black. So.
Okay. So, uh, yeah, we've got the whole case riveted back together now. And, uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. We just have to do a little bit of touch-up now. Uh, cause I had a couple times where I, uh, dinged a little bit when I was, uh, riveting. I'm not sure where they are. I have to look over it and find them. Uh, with the rivet gun that I have, you have to be very careful about how you drive the rivets in because if you're not careful, which I was very careful, but even then it's still really easy to nick some of the panels once you snap the rivet off. So I just gotta do some touch up work there. And then it's uh, pretty much done and ready to go. That's all for this video. Um, leave a comment if you thought it was cool. Leave a like if you liked it. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.